Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And uh, several months ago, I sent a gentleman this uh, Jesus Cross file, and he ran it through some 3D software and made it three dimensional. And it, it's uh, pretty cool. But his question was tonight how he could create a cut line around the whole thing, like a 16th of an inch. And James, just for you, you have your color fill on fill. And like right now it's on white. It was on black, but you just, if you'll double click on that and exit out and then hit okay. But if you'll do that when you don't have anything selected and you do it and exit out, it'll ask you if you want to do it for graphics and you put yes. Because when, when I use the uh, boundary tool to make the, the line around it, it's going to fill it in with black. So I've changed it to where it won't have a fill now. So you need to take your object, go to group, and ungroup it. And I've evidently already ungrouped it. But yours was grouped together, so you're going to ungroup it. And then you're going to select it all, and you're going to get the boundary tool. And just hit. And because of this is a 3D image the boundary tool tool takes a little time and it'll take just a second and it'll do it and it's almost there i think but it i'm thinking the computers are having trouble reading all this 3d and it actually covered it up with white again so i don't have that set yet but i'm going to change my nudge factor to three inches and I'm going to take that boundary. I'm going to move it out of the way and see my Jesus is there. And, of course, you can left-click and put no fill. But then you're just going to go up to Effects and Contour. We're going to contour to the outside 0 0.0625. It's rounded up to 0 0.062 or 3. And just hit Apply. Now, it does put these lines a little bit too close, but then go to Arrange break contour apart and grab that outside and just nudge it back over. So now you have a cut line, a 16th of an inch. It looks like it's thicker than that, but this image is only uh, two or three inches. So you could actually probably do it less. As a matter of fact, let's just do it less. See what it looks like. Let's back up here and let's change this to 0 0.0 three we'll cut it in half and see that's not near the con contour and i think it'll look better because these points won't be touching go up to a range and break the contour apart and then just try to grab the outside and that'll really matter because you'll know if you did or not so now you have a cut line around your three-dimensional object that's pretty cool anyway Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.